Hello and welcome back. We are just about to enter Motare Okozi. And the Wahaki tribe apparently knows the place, or maybe they know something about uh, Ukaizo. Apparently, uh, some long lost island of the Wana. So, um, let's get going, I guess. <clears throat> After that, we probably should just go back to Nakataka and just return some quests. Uh, because uh, we do have uh, at least one uh, major one to return. And that is the one with, uh, with Archimir. We, we did the Bikarna's observatory and uh, met, might be... Pretty good. Okay, we got some level ups. Doesn't matter too much. Looks like oh, corrupted tiger. Oh, right between the eyes. Kill them all. <laughs> Still got it. I'm listening. Hey. She's oh, no. AI script is inactive for some reason. Didn't change it though. Pukra. Kill it. A last sanctuary? The ruins are infested with Fregra and other unsavory creatures. Whatever lies at the heart of this corruption could be related to my research. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to kill the tiger. Let's go. You see that Ishi? Think you got the decency to die? Yeah, not much here. So, oh, would you look at that? Oh, minor deflection. I, I guess that's not the worst. No, Let's kill it. You don't need to charm it. You don't need to charm it. I wish there was a command or like an option that hey. If there are, like, only one enemy left, I suppose the charming still makes sense, because you can just hit it, risk free, but still, I just feel like it's, you don't need that. Don't need to charm it. A orphaned cat. Oh, we don't little pussy. I have so many pets at this point uh, that I just don't even know. What did like, you find, Ishi? I'm just going with with the doggy I found relatively early. So many pets. <clears throat> the bark of this tree is scratched and bruised, having a consistency similar to a diseased flesh. It rots. It roots a bulge with seeping post postules. Study the tree. Okay. Uh, there is not in range. See if it's beyond healing. It looks pretty lo much a lost cause to me. And the bark bulges with rancid sap. Life endures somewhere in the heart of this tree, but time and corruption have twisted it to a nearly unrecognizable form. Someone with a connection to nature could reverse the damage. Ah, uh, kill the tree. You severed the roots and. Hungry vines. A blackened sap oozes down the trunk like spilled blood. It won't be long before the tree succumbs to its injuries. You hear the ear splitting shriek of a. a minkra. in pain. Suddenly you feel a crawling sensation in the back of your head. Fiend! Remove yourself from our domain! The disembodied voice batters your mind like a hailstorm before swiftly departing. Well, they seem to have a problem with me. Hey, Pugvra. I don't know how to call these guys. I don't know. Ah. No problem with the corrupted tiger. Still. Okay. Uh, how about we just do a big explosion? Not that. Say your 
be pretty strong if done right. Rotted lady. Try that. That's pretty strong. Okay. A lot of vines uh, got destroyed. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, let's see. Narian's Ward. Exceptional shields. Incoming weapon damage reduced by 10% increases as health is lost maximum. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Not sure I can. My fingers be fat and furry, swapped in spot. Hmm. I don't use those once per rest uh, figurines. I have some of them, but I just don't care for them. Obviously, it could help me to uh, give me an edge in some encounters, but okay, just con consider it an extra difficulty. Those once per rest abilities can be, or like per rest abilities can be, uh, rather powerful. Anyway, hmm. So well, I guess we're checking out the middle. Than what we've seen. <clears throat> this soul flits about in hasty panic bursts. It eases uh, closer to you with anticipation. They laughed at your hours studying the runic script at the ancient Hu of the ancient Huana. But here you are poring over gold inscriptions while they scratch their heads. You promise yourself a good boast on the journey back to Nekataka. No one believes the Huana could have forged a a device like the golden wheel, but you stay silent on the matter. Linguitans built more for function than beauty, and this is art. Rotating the control disc and pressing panels had you so engrossed that you mistakenly intender entered the wrong combination. A slit opened in the disc, discharging a gas that brought you to your knees, coughing loud enough to summon a creature whose shape you could barely perceive through the haze of pain. Boasting would have to wait. Emitting a palpable feeling of relief, the essence drifts into Soti's lantern. Thanks for that! I hate to relieve all of that. <clears throat> this massive golden disk is covered with intricate engravings and inscriptions. You are able to pick out symbols representing plants, wildlife and boats, but there is no discernible order or meaning to their configuration. Uh, study the engravings, look for a pattern. You can vaguely see how different points of the engraving uh, seem to match up, forming a coherent uh, shape in spite of being situated on opposing sides of the carving. A depression in the ring resembles a control panel, which could be used to manipulate the moving parts of the disc. Though it is missing something. Read the main inscription. To all wayward kin, far from family shores, let this chart point the way home, that your tribe may welcome you open armed. Engravings remember what the dead forget. Take comfort in this sanctuary, read its teachings, and let knowledge guide the hand that turns the wheels. A circle of depression stands out from the rest of the disc. The stone ring in your possession looks as if it could fit, but not without the other missing part. Golden inner ring plus golden outer ring. Attempt to decipher the disc with the golden will you possess. You hold the outer ring to the control panel, but it still requires the inner ring to make the mechanism function. Okay, we do not have all the parts. Perhaps we can find it. This lingering soul drifts in a lazy, hypnotic fashion. It does not fashion. Um, it does not seem to know or care that its life, life has been extinguished. That that golden wheel weighed as much as Iota's thumb. 
But you weren't leaving without a souvenir. Something to put a smile on. Director Castor's face. Then your boots crunched a soft femur in half. And you remembered. Wasn't this island supposed to be abandoned? Maybe you didn't beat the Juan expedition in getting here. Suddenly the gold felt like dead weight. You rolled in. You rolled it into a cave for safekeeping. You rolled it? Okay? When you just put it there? Why why you roll it roll the gold in there? Um Okay. I mean I guess this guy really likes bowling. <clears throat> you didn't make it ten paces toward the beach before something big, all crooked limbs and fetid breath pluck you off your feet. When she squeezed you like a dish rag over a patch of thirsty wines, you bled out so fast that you forgot to scream. So they thrusts out her lantern and the light inside flares and another soul is harvested. Okay. Uh thanks for that, Sodi. That's actually pretty damn useful. These souls uh no longer giving me nightmares. Because that seemed to be their only purpose. Corrupt the tiger! Oh, on his ass now. I also wondered whether, uh... Inscription reads, It is the charge of all living things to safeguard Adra. The gods will know us by our fealty to the... To this covenant. I also wondered if uh, the AI actually is a performance intensive, or perhaps the AI script that I wrote uh, is not as efficient. I don't know. May have to look into it. Corrupted tiger! I don't really care for the charm. In a big fight, sure, charm him. Small fight, no one cares. Just kill him. Hmm. Golden inner rank. Okay. Awfully convenient to find it here. Oh, look at that. What's up with the slug zone? So annoying. Yeah. They die so easy. Right, let's see what else we got here. Nothing. Please. <laughs> you must be thinking, damn, this is my lucky day. No, this bastard's ran completely past me. I'm sorry, we have to loot first. So, Baltia? Let's talk. Complanca, help me! <clears throat> Thorn covered vines encircle this valley and woman, constricting around her in a deadly embrace. Her speech gets cut short as one of the vines about her midsection tightens its hold, nearly forcing the breath from her lungs. Gritting her teeth, she braces against the vines and fights to steal back some breathing room. Gatsu, stinking weed. <sighs> she regards you with tired, bloodshed eyes. Let's see if we can do something about those vines. Thank you. Only I don't know how we're going to manage it. I give up farewell. If I pulled the larger vines away, could you squirm out of there? Ak, maybe. This vine is squeezing me hard enough to make a chore of it. But I am needing all the help I can get. That's all I got. Pull all the vines with your hands. Uh, Madiko, the damn thing is getting tighter. I hope that you have a strong grip, Sere. Or this could end poorly for me. Stronger than you might think. Uh... Let's do this. 
You brace yourself and grab hold of the thickest vine, careful to avoid the worst of the thorns. Your grip on the vine remains steadfast as you tear and wretch away at it. Something in the limb of the plant flexes like a muscle of its own. In time it relents, relaxing its hold on the valiant explorer. I, I think that did it. Agrasima. She struggles to her feet with a pain groan, massaging, uh, massaging uh, aches, aches all over her body. You did it though? Our ship landed on the other side of the island, but I am the last of the crew. Aww. And I cannot sail her alone. Aww, you want to join my crew? May I join your voyage? Damn. I do not care where we make port, as long as it is far from here. Reject. Welcome to the crew. I see you on the ship. Valiant from the uh, trading company Meyer, Minor Positive? Sure. Ak, Casita. I will see you on board. You're welcome. If I get snared, don't leave me behind. Alright, let's go. Please. Figure this out. Oh, we destroyed the rotten tree. Didn't we? I'm pretty sure that we did. Or was that it? I think. <clears throat> we destroyed that tree. Uh, slide the golden wheels onto the control panel. The rings settle into place, fitting neatly around their central axis. The other ring is inscribed with passages into the Juana runic language. Four symbols decorate the inner wheel. They show pillars of luminous andra, the native koiki fruit, the the, kip, the, the depiction of the Huana water shaping art, and a lovingly engraved island. The way these inscriptions align suggests the relationship between the two. Something about the island catches your attention. The rooms surrounding it are particularly elaborate, and every measurement uses it as a point of origin. It's a Kaizo. That's an assumption. No? A set of dots on the inscribed panels of the outer ring suggests that it should be rotated in a sequence starting from one and ending in a four. I don't know if I'm ready for this right now. Rotate the wheel into the first configuration. Ah, oh, come on. <clears throat> the first inscription reads. Though their roots grow from Rikuhu's lightless bowels, their yield is a welcome reprieve. The inner ring can be turned to match a symbol to the inscription. Okay, so we get this. Turn the wheel to align the inscription with the symbol of Luminous Adra. Rikuhu's. Okay, that's Berat. Though there. Roots grow from death. Lightless bowels, their yield is welcome. Okay, so. Either Luminous Agra, Koiki. I think it's gonna be Luminous Agra. You spin the wheels until the inscription aligns with the symbol of the Luminous, a of Luminous Agra. The way the control panel sits atop the disc suggests that you could push this configuration down. Do it. Oh, come on. The gold ring springs back up, ready to be spun again. Those petrified limbs are the health and safety of the death, death fire. What? Petrified limbs are the health and safety of the death fire? Quickie fruit? Press down? The wheel sun into place with some resistance, likely owing to age and neglect. Beneath the disc, the groaning of gears sounds once more. Inscription reads, Nagata gifted her chosen people with dominion over her dark and turbulent kingdom. That's obviously water shaping. A cacophonous grinding sound builds from somewhere deep beneath the disc. Whether this indicates a favorable outcome or not remains to be seen. <clears throat> the final inscription reads Our origin, our destination, our home. Wherever we go, she is the horizon. I think he is. I don't want to make fun of you, Mr. Huana ancestors, but this is not really a, a hard one to solve. 
So you have you have pretty limited choices here. So it's basically four times, three times two. So those are all the options. So we have 24 combinations here. So yeah, unless there's uh, like a uh, consequence for failing this, but even those who who just tried the dumb luck, I might just uh, get it one out of 24 times just by pressing random buttons. Turn the wheel to match the symbol of Ukaizo and press the panel. It takes an extra hard push, but the ring settles into place. Long silence follows, in which you are forced to wonder whether or not you put you input the correct combination, and what consequences might follow either way. <clears throat> Faster than you can react, a noxious gas billows from a hairline fracture in the metal, burning your eyes and causing you to reel back in pain. One by one, the recessed panels each click out of their setting. Evidently, the trap disc has reset itself, all but daring you to make another attempt. Well, okay. Though their roots grow from Riku, whose lightless bow was their yield is welcome. Okay, that okay, it's all pretty obvious. It's Koiki fruit. Come on. Luminous Adra, Water Shaping, and Ukaizo. <clears throat> Long silence follows in which you are forced to wonder whether or not you input the correct... Yeah, whatever. Manipulating the control panel has rotated the rings of the massive inner disk into a new configuration, one that lines up with a neat precision. Engravings intersect in a matter that forms the shape of that fire. The emerging image is not exactly a map, but an index of islands and coordinates organized in relation to each other. You recognize several of the sighted locations as containing nothing but open water. <clears throat> Charting a path by this obsolete system now would be impossible. The world of Kaizo stands out from the other name islands. You take a rubbing of the disk in its compl completed form. Judging by your surroundings, this coordinate system has gone untouched for millennia. Your findings may be of interest to someone. Who won a chart? <laughs> Let me guess. Ukaizo is at the bottom right. <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's a it's a island we couldn't explore. <clears throat> Whether or not this treasure should be available to just anyone who happens by is another matter. The gold rings are resolutely locked in place. I don't want to destroy it. Leave the disc intact and step away. Yeah, we kind of messed up with the first option. Then I, it was it was a little bit awkward. Let's just rest. So the watcher doesn't have minus ten accuracy. And uh, just go away, I suppose. Seems like the hockey is just are just completely fine with us uh, doing whatever we want, <clears throat> and I I'm completely fine with them. Uh, they are being completely fine with me doing whatever I want. I don't want to necessarily just wipe them out. All right. Uh, so I want to go back. Okay. Did I actually get a map? Like, is that is what I got actually useful? Hmm. Okay, this is not useful by itself. <clears throat> you might need someone to uh, make heads or tails of it. Now, are we going to go back? What? Captain Pie? I'm sorry, Captain Pie, but you're going to die. That's just how it goes. A ship proudly waving the standard of the Royal Deathfire Company wears you down. Hey, guys. 
Sailing offers a welcome reprieve from Motaro Cozy until the silhouette of an advancing ship grows clearer in your spyglass. The winds turn against you as the pursuer closes the distance handily. A Rotaian junk with a standard loadout of five cannons on each side, the flag of the Royal Death Fire Company waves proudly. A placard on the hull identifies it as a benevolent Aegis. Whatever the prince can do with your map, I'd wager the Hazanui can do it better. Shrugging, Maya snaps her spyglass shut. A loud percussion followed by the splash of water announces a cannonball fired across your bow. Stand down and prepare for inspection. <clears throat> Commanding voice bellows over the turbulent crashing of waves. Parley! Fight my way out of this. A bellow cry on your lips, you steer the Defiant toward the advancing vessel and prepare for combat. Are you kidding me? Yep. Are they at level 9? <laughs> yeah, good luck. You know, if you use your cannons, you better be ready to die. <clears throat> That's just how it goes. If you pull out your gun, you better be ready to get, die. But he not only pulled out his gun, but also fired it. So dead. So dead. I'm sorry, Royal Death Fire Company, but that's just not how I operate. I can't really... Look past this. These guys have no chance. What's high on? Archibuster. What are you doing? Yeah. Fine stuff. The crew loves me. Okay. So, do we go back? I kind of want to explore this whole north northeast. I'm the worst. I should go back. I know I should go back, but I, I cannot can't can't help myself. What's up with the storms? It's like two storms. Wait, am I supposed to? Oh, I see. This is not not a usual storm. This is a storm that probably discourages you from going onward. Perhaps you can sail into it, but it's it's risky, I suppose. You take hull damage, you take all kinds of damage. Possibly you can even lose to it. Oh, look at that. It looks to totally different. Okay. More storms. Yeah. Can we even sail into it? Probably shouldn't. <laughs> At least it's not a priority at this point. So we know about Ashen Ma. And we know for a fact that we probably can go there. Yeah. We just explored the back. That's a w weird way to refer to something, but... Sail out of the storm. Wait, what? Put me into Mashem Ball? Okay. Two ladies arguing on the deck. Oh, come on, I don't have time for this. An argument for, from the deck pulls your attention away from the gentle rocking of the ship and the smooth expanse of blue on the horizon. 
Half of those fish were floating belly up. Oh, this I heard this one already. I suppose you do hear the same things. Check the fish for signs of disease. Let's judge the fitness of the catch. Uh, you do it. Or... Yeah, you do it. Yeah, whatever. Let's go with this. We got some fish. Urnox Bra what? Brines? Who's this? Wow, I, d I didn't realize that there are well <laughs> so many places. Well, I kinda expected the top of the map, top right of the map to have more. Oh look at this. Urnox brain Brennan Brains. We got trouble, folks. Hey yeah. guys, uh, you guys wanna start with something like that? That looks pretty good if it works. It might work. It's just hit so hard. Oh, how did he jump again? It's crazy. I can terrify them. Doesn't even matter though. <clears throat> Superb one handed shield. Tactical. Wait, what? Grants deflection as health decreases up to a maximum of 20 deflection and zero health. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Let's go with that. Got it. Alright, guys. Let's leave this place. So, we can check out Asher Mall, but I, I kind of think that we should leave that for later. Oh, what is this? Kadarian Bosch? Oh, look at that! Children of the Dark. Oh, right! Right, 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 right! Right! Look at this! Should we kill them all? I mean, that's kind of defeats the purpose of it, right? Are we gonna fight? Oh, they're all dead. Oh, we're too no. late. Look for Baird. Okay. I don't see him. Let's check downstairs. Damn, these people have nothing. They can't even take th their clothes off. Unbelievable. Um, and there, just in case. You see him? This is him. He's gone. Okay, I'm. Um, I'm just putting it out there. Are you comfortable with me stripping your son? Hey, I I don't wanna give him a special treatment. Eden cries out, frustrated. Bra. He puts a hand on to his face and looks down into it, shaking his head. What was this? Um, he gave his life for something he believed in. I don't know. He was a victim of madman. Eltas used him. Maybe he really is going to help Eltas. That's stupid. He was a victim of madman. Madman who might really have had a vision from his god. We're all so trusting. Our gods don't deserve it. The god doesn't have anything to do with it. The priest guy had. Adair kneels next to Baron. He puts his hand on the boy's shoulder. After a moment, he rises. We should go. That was... Disappointing. <laughs> Did we get here late? 
Was it a time sensitive mission? I don't know. I suppose I didn't really treat it as a time sensitive mission. So we can check out Ashmore. That's the last thing we can check out. How many things we got? Pukukuhara, return to Valiant Trading Company, headquarters at Queen's Birth. They want to know about Pukukuhara. We, got, oh, we also have to return to Martino at the Valero. That actually doesn't work, that's buggy. Forget about that. Now wait for the animators to finish recalibrating their machinery. That apparently never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because uh, we are not really friends with the Valiant Trading Company. So we can return some Bhanti, random meet with Eotas in Ashima. Yeah, that's that's why I don't necessarily want to go there. So many Bhantis, but I just don't feel like they really like, add too much to the game. Pending it just a bit of a chore just to pick it up and go back and get get something for it. I would rather just see uh, some kind of like a treasure map or we need to go back to Archimir. We need to go back to Nungota. Return to Prince Aurihi. Serpent's Crown. Serpent's Crown. I have so many missions. Okay. So. We are going back. We are going back for mainly because. That we need to just finish the quest we got. Because if we just end up starting new quest and new quest. I know. I'm the one talking. But like at this point. I feel like the Ashen Maw thing is going to start something. And we need to. At least finish some quests before we go for that. And I don't know about this big ass storm here. Not what I expected whatsoever. This is gonna be Ukaizo, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But it would be silly if that if that was Ukaizo. But probably we will be able to check it out. Maybe it's just a, a distraction. So, where do we... We can go to Queen's Birth. We can go to the Valera Estate. No. No. We can just go into Queen's Birth. And start just returning bloody missions. Because... Yeah, I did a lot of them. Bounty missions? I don't know. If I'm gonna... Well, if... Yeah. If I'm gonna do a... Uh, a second playthrough of this game, I might just consider not doing the bounty missions. Despite giving, uh, despite they give me a lot of money, I suppose. But I just don't think they have a lot of flavor. <laughs> we still need to kill Queen One Castle too. I don't think the Valiant Trading Company will ever like me. <laughs> so... That, that ship probably sailed. So... I think they have a woman outside that... Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Returning to Martino. Possibly because I wiped out the other house before. Uh, Anya. My little privateer, you Belfetto, a pirate deserves no better send off than a watery tomb. But you did not just come to deliver good news, you came for work. Ak. You have some more work, you've done well for the company. My last target is the Siwa the Shark, a Rawatai Dead already. Belfetto. For once, our service ships may take to the waters without fear. Thanks. No, you've taken all the work from the louses of Queen's Birth, and I have nothing more to offer you, save this. This? Pleasure working with you. The waters are safe again. Definitely not someone 
I just, I just take, took out the competition. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little bit offended that they don't have a bounty on my head. Because if anything, they should have a bounty on my head with every private hunter trying to take me out. I've sunk every single ship in the Deathfire with the exception of the one merchant that I, for some reason, I can't sink. But yeah. I've, I've sunk everybody. I need to go to the Sacred Stair. Serpent's Crown. So many things to go to. Serpent's Crown again. Yeah, we need to go there. Queen's Birth. Oh yeah, we need to go to Sansa. That, that's what I was looking for. It's not correctly shown. We need to pop in. Apparently Sansa is just up at night, so this is just fine. Oh, we need to pop into the Valiant Trading Company as well, but hey, okay. Do you want to know what happened to Pukuhara? I guess I have the information. So, Sansa. Welcome back, welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you once again. Tell me, how is the sailing? Smooth? Nothing to delay your expedition, I hope. Well, sun's up. How might I assist? You? I got some things for you. We are so close. There's only one corner of the map left. Say no more. I already explored only it. Only it's for good reason. The waters in those parts are... Well, this region is probably why I had so much trouble finding help before you came along. Time to set out for the Razai Passage, out to the northwest. There are several islands out there nobody's done more than Ogolat from afar. I know you can do better. I'll be waiting. Wait, what? Can I explore it already? Well, how might I assist you? I got some material for your book. Wow. I've always wondered what was over there. I made a list. Fire giants, giant fire ants, fire snakes wasn't on there. Wait. This means... Yeah, just, just put fire in front of everything. So you're like, fire... Yeah, whatever. Just go fire plants. Fire mosquitoes. Fire trees. Fire trees. I, I would not miss uh, miss out on the fire trees. You've done it. You've really done it. Oh, I could kiss you. Wink anytime. Sansa flaps a hand dismissively, blushing to his ears. This... This is going to put both our names in the history books. I am sure of it. He really doesn't know who he's talking to, does he? It's fine. I'm nearly done putting everything together. Come back later and I'll give you the very first copy of the Explorer's Guide to the Dead Fire. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Well, see you later, Sansa. We have to pop into the Dead Fire Wheeling Company as well. We just like did like at least like 10, 10 quests. And at this point we are just trying to figure out what is the efficient way to return them? <laughs> oh, come on! Let me in! Uh, morning. We want morning. Let us in. But Pokokuhara. What about the pirates? What happened to the pirates? I made friends with the Prince of the New Blood. I didn't wipe out the old blood. But they are not really talking to me. Also, I, I kind of killed a lot of Prince of the New Blood as the well. Contract. That is, you see. Ah, good, you're back. I hope you had a pleasant voyage. Yeah, I found the Adder vein. Ah. Before you get too far on the way, I think you ought to come with me. No problem. Director Castor will want to hear from you in person. Is that the guy upstairs? Because maybe one or two guys are... I I've been upstairs. Like, it's, it's totally empty.
Oh, he's here? The man who rises to greet you has a tidy, scholarly bearing only emphasized by the thin frame lenses he pushes farther up his nose. He cl clasps his hands together offering you a smile equal parts polite and relieved. Albari tells me you are kind enough to look into this business on Pococahara for us. I hope you bring good news. Uh, the Aether Pillar was corrupted, but I managed to restore it. It should be safe to harvest. A lot of corpses for one viable Aether Pillar. I hope it's worth it. Devers? Incredible. What fortune we have had to find a watcher. And Adra, vein of that size, will do much to allay our investors' concerns. And the crew. Beza and the others. They're dead. The Juana priestess didn't appreciate the company presence on the island. They cover a village moderate negative, Valian Trading Company minor positive. They died in the ruins of Pococohara. Ah, let's just suck up to the Valians. No, 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 actually, I want to help out the village. They died in the ruins of Pokokuhara. The defenses were too much for them. A sorry end for such dedicated individuals. How very fortunate that you lived to tell their tale. I believe I can take things from here, Alvari. Agresima. The Watcher and I have more business to discuss. Oh, and uh, do pay the woman for her trouble first. Like what kind of payment is appropriate for this? That's basically a gold mine. 1,700 copper? Like, if you gave me, like, 500 bajillion copper, that probably, you know, that's probably too much. You know, I would say, like, you know, maybe you should, like, lower it a little bit. But if you gave me, like, 200,000 copper, or, like, 500,000 copper, I would say, like, okay, like, you can do better. That's not a lot of copper. I can't even spend two days in the bathhouse for that price. Right to business with no real introduction, no? I am Ignato Castel, director of the Balian Trading Company's operations here in the Deadfire. I thought it best I speak with you face to face. Watchers are not so numerous here in the Deadfire, especially those of such storied backgrounds as yourself. Sounds like you're a fan. I'd read much about your exploits alongside the Crucible Knights in Defiance Bay. <laughs> Their little experiments. <laughs> okay. So I believe everything you read. And I think that we are, each of us, in a position to offer each other something that we cannot find elsewhere. What is that? The Valian Trading Company has had a presence on this island for nearly a century now. <laughs> we have the greatest fleet on the seas. The support of the richest men and women in the world. I suppose technically you are not too wrong. You know, you have equally large fleet as everybody else in the Death Fire. Actually, no. Actually, you're wrong. The biggest fleet in the Deathfire is owned by my crew, one ship, also some merchant guy near Port Maya. He's also everybody else, no ships whatsoever. So, I don't know. You don't really have the greatest fleet in the uh, in, on the seas, unless you like. Unless that unaffiliated merchant ship sign up with them, but then then they have equal to mine. What can the Royal Deadfire Company offer? A soldier's wages, so that you can elevate the fortunes of a distant king, and the queen, a place in the Kahanga tribe among all the rest of these neglected people. You've lived outside the caste system all these years. Are you eager to return to it? No, their system is it's terrible, obviously. But you're just lowering my expectations at this point. I can give you money, fame, certainly. But the men and women of the company, we set our aims high 
And if I only wanted to offer you work as an Adra inspector, I would have let Alvari deal with you. I am the Herald of Berat. Such tasks are beneath me. Isn't Adra what your company is after? So what do you want? The Valian Trading Company has maintained an outpost here in Nekataka for nearly a century now. It was only two years ago that we discovered the effects of Luminous Adra with the aid of our Anamancers and several watches. Flaune Alette has continued to study the potential of Luminous Adra in all manner of advances. Why content ourselves to sell all this Adra as a luxury when we might use it to change the world? But of course you understand all of this. Let sent word of your involvement in her latest experiment. Right, this is very... when it ties in. A very dramatic first attempt, I hear. Though, uh, Alette has a tendency to gloss over details. But, uh, I want to hear it from you. Well, we How almost got go? murdered by Rim Rimgand. My soul was sent to the beyond, into one of the Rimgrand's realms. If it didn't work like we expected... If you, if you, ever, if you ever wanted to drop by and visit Rimgrand, uh, now you know where to go. Oh, it wouldn't work for me, I think, but... Ak, I take your meaning. More dangerous than expected, yes? Yes. I hope Alet paid you well for your trouble. A small comfort, but... You return from your adventure a little wealthier, at least. We are in the early days of Alette's research. Flawed as this outing was, there is promise there. This guy is lo This guy loves me. He gives me positive every single sentence. I'm gonna check my uh, reputation with them after this. This is only the start, you know. The very dawn of a new age of discovery. But just imagine. You know, like two hours ago I asked, what do you want from me? And you have all these promises and you love me for uh, for listening to you. But still, could you get to the point? Imagine if we could transport goods and people more quickly than any vessel or horse. Cure every kind of ailment. Perhaps cure disease altogether. We'll extend our lifespans by decades. Maybe even centuries one day. This has all been the work of a single outpost. I want there to be a dozen outposts. A hundred. Anamancers working together to better our lives. Look at what we have left behind. Old Velia is a battlefield at constant war with itself. But the Republics have risen from that past. We can rise farther still. Promising. But could you get to the point? And in doing so, we will raise all of Aora with us. Old Vale is not yet lost. We're off to Ghost Castle. Yes, but achievable, I think. I may not live to see it, but I will see the groundwork done. But uh, I've said enough. Too much, I think. There will be more experiments to come. I see. Until then, I have a more grounded task I need assistance with. Nothing that should put your spirit in any danger. <laughs> Nekataka sees its share of smuggling. I doubt that would surprise anyone. But we've learned of a particular exchange that will have more dire effects than a few spoiled Hawana peasants. There is a Royal Deadfire Company official by the name of Quarno who has been meeting in secret with one of the Principi. I do not believe he works with the approval of his masters. He meets with a Captain Tola, a known pirate and smuggler. I hope I don't have to tell you that an alliance between a crooked royal official and the Principi is not the kind of trouble any of us need. But why do you care? I have a woman, Britza, waiting in the luminous bathhouse in Periki's overlook. The smugglers do business there, and she has kept an eye on things. I promise to send assistance. Find her, and she will tell you what she knows. Got it. Take a bath with Brizza. I'll do it. Excellent. Meeting you has been a stroke of luck, Watcher. I'll await your report.
Um, that's kind of a creepy thing to say, but sure. I'll report on my mission with taking a bath with Brizza. Alright. <clears throat> okay, interesting. So, seems like the... They don't hate me completely. Let's see the... The Valiant Trending Company is in the negative, obviously, but not completely in the negative. I don't know what... what purple means. So it never went into red? Seems like red means it, it only went into red. So it seems purple is conflicted. Somewhat. <laughs> I guess. The downstairs love me. Why? Why do you guys love me? I don't get it. They really shouldn't love me. So we need to get the hell out of this place. I'm pretty sure that we already done everything possible here. The other bounty guy is in the wall there, but we already completed all of his quests. And also did all the quests Sansa has for us. So this gave us another quest to do. Uh, when we actually gonna go and uh, talk to Archimir. Can I? I don't believe it. A copper pan from 400 yards? You're pulling my leg. That's easy. I'll show you. Hold this up in the air and stand very still. Oh, this ought to be good. How's this? On second thought, let's practice later. I don't like this breeze. So, we can go to the Brasildel. We don't have to go to the Gullet, but we need to go to the Brasildel, Sacred Stair, Perigus Overlook, and Serpent's Crown. So, anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.